Overwatch 2, a new expansion in the Overwatch SFM universe. This highly anticipated sequel includes a brand new story mode. Uh oh, that's not in the game yet. Uh, okay, um, well, uh, level up your heroes in our brand new PVE co-op mode. Uh oh, that's not in the game either. Oh, okay, um, well, you know, let's just do this again, okay? Overwatch 2, the latest title from Activision Blizzard, a small indie dev company. We continue the fight from the previous game by being forcibly kicked out of it. This labor of love was in development for over three years and was so intense they didn't even have time to update the desktop icon. The game is free to play and adds tons more content, such as Mercy's new hairdo. Additionally, the game adds three new heroes. That is, as long as you bought the original Overwatch. If not, well, we offer a lovely battle pass. Oh, you don't want to spend $10 for a new hero? That's a shame. I hope you like grinding those levels because we want to provide players with a sense of pride and accomplishment for unlocking different heroes. Oops, it looks like Blizzard added a game-breaking bug with the introduction of our new hero. That's alright, it's easily remedied. Anyway, would you like to buy this new May skin? Overwatch 2 being a free-to-play game allowed Blizzard to switch from abusing their female employees to the player base by adding a premium currency shop. Now, I'm gonna say something controversial. I don't care that they're charging $20 a skin because I'm simply not gonna buy it. But charging $9 for a new hero if they didn't play that season or sticking all the new heroes in a paid battle pass? Well, that's kinda where I draw the line. But, I hear you say, you can unlock it through purely free means, and that is technically true. But earning over half a million XP or just under half a million XP for the summer. current season is not the best in a game mostly focused on the competitive aspect. Sure, you can unlock them through challenges, and hell, I'll even say six out of the seven challenges are not just fair, but make incredible sense from a learning perspective. But winning 35 games in each respective class or the additional support class button is rather a high bar, almost like they want you to buy it instead. Anyway, let's talk about Quick Play, the perfect playground to test heroes you're not good with, develop strategies, learn map layouts, or a la forbid, play a hero you enjoy. Even if they're not meta. Oh, never mind, that's competitive too, apparently. I'd say to enjoy yourself leveling up your account, but uh, they axed that right after the second tank. Speaking of heroes, Blizzard prides itself on having a diverse selection of heroes to encompass all people of a multitude of backgrounds. One such example is a cowgirl known as Ash, who's a good single target hero with an ultimate to call a man to help her. <coughs> uh, let's talk about another hero, Farah, one of the original cast from the first Overwatch game. She has a Middle Eastern background and is extremely good at flying with explosives. <coughs> uh, Zenyatta. Zenyatta is a robot, or Omnic, as they're known in universe. He's based on Tibetan monks and has a diverse range of Asian-inspired... Did, did they slant his eyes? So let's talk about the main draw of Overwatch 2, the competitive scene. Pick any hero of choice, as long as you bought it, and move out with your team. Like the previous game, you can play as three different classes. Be a tank where you don't get healed, be a support where you don't get tanked, or play as a DPS where no matter what happens, it's your fault. Remember, always offer helpful suggestions to your team. They'll always appreciate it. The game also changed how you rank up in competitive. No longer do you get the sadness of watching your rank go up or down a bit every game. Instead, now you get to win seven whole games to change to the rank you already were. As stated before, they removed the second tank, reducing the mentally handicapped people on your team from six to five. Don't worry, they got a job in the Overwatch balance team. They're doing fine. Always remember, no matter what happens in the game, if you win, it was because of you, your amazing solo plays, and you don't deserve to be among the plebeian gold, silver, or bronze players. But if you lose, it's everyone else's fault. So what if I ran in 5v1 using all my abilities to get in front of the enemy's guns? It's your fault for not healing me. Anyway, Overwatch 2 might possibly be the most unbalanced, unenjoyable, toxic community-infested game I've ever played, which is exactly why I enjoy it. In the end, Overwatch 2 is a complete failure in marketing, because it's not Overwatch 2. It's Overwatch 2.0, a simple update to fix a dying game. And it works. Set the pay-to-win crap, remove it. And yes, it is pay-to-win. You know they're gonna release a game-breaking hero eventually. And you know it's gonna be behind that battle pass. Overwatch 2 gets an Overwatch 2 out of an Overwatch 1, because it's the same game with a few features torn out and some others taped in. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe. If you didn't enjoy the video, subscribe anyway, and feel free to leave a mean comment below. Anyway, here's a preview of what my next video is on. Establishing battlefield control. Stand by. Hey Winston, do you ever watch too much TV? Why, yes Tracer, uh, I do. Why? Do you overwatch too?